closer than that. Okay, as soon as I open this up, there should be isopods. Let's take a look. Yeah, not as many as I thought. That's a piece of potato I put in the other day. Oh, he went underneath. There's a few gathering here. I thought there'd be more. I opened this up yesterday and there was probably over 100, as I said. Isopods. There's a few down here. Let me get a tool and <clears throat> move some of this bark back. Okay, I'm going to have it rolling today. The other days I haven't. Look at that. There's quite a few. The camera's not. Not just on one piece of bark. Try not to disturb them too much. Usually under this one here. Let's bring it back. Oops. Look at that. Seeing you guys thought I was lying. That's probably about 50 right there. In that little group. Because you're counting babies too. There's babies underneath there. Yeah, there's quite a few. And what I'm going to do today is give them the uh, food scraps. Um, that my brother has given me lettuce and all sorts of green stuff look at that everywhere I look and turn there's isopods which I knew there would be I'm looking down below more. I've already disturbed them quite a bit, but you know, like that. There are quite a few. And I should transport some of these over to the uh, flow through in my room. I know there's a few out in the living room but mine could use a few more. I'll do that another day. I want to uh, get them fed with the lettuce and stuff. The other side is more well, both sides are kind of moist. I'm just looking around. Look at that. That's unbelievable. And they just scatter. The camera's not doing justice to how many there were. And it doesn't really give off a smell. You can kind of smell them, I guess. But, uh, kind of smells like a bug smell. You know, and rich compost, but, uh, that's the only way to describe it. Is, uh, see, there's a baby one right there. 
so you can see the difference between them. You know, the adults and these little white ones are babies. All crawling around. So, let me go get the uh, bucket of lettuce and stuff and I'll put it in here. Okay, I got the bucket. Oh, it has carrots in here too. Celery. Uh, I think that looks about it. Uh, I guess that's an onion. Yeah, so. Oh, cucumber. I don't know. I have no idea what he's making. He's making salads for the week. But there's an onion. And I'd rather have it in here. Oh, I thought I heard something. I guess if I listen closely, I could hear him. Um, what I'm thinking about doing in this is putting some worms in here, too. Seeing it's moist enough, and they'll break down the other stuff, you know, the uh, compost stuff, even more. So, that's a look into the bin again, for those that are interested. I'm just looking around to see. Where they're crawling, if we can see any more, but see more there. So yeah, they're uh, they'll come up and feed on this, and I'll take a look at this tomorrow and see how it goes maybe I'll uh, give a brief uh, view of it if they're all, all into this which they should be um, as many as there are in here they should be feasting on all this pretty quickly tomorrow I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the isopod bin today um, quite a few and uh, you know once I put some worms in there I think tomorrow we'll do the phone book bin um, I was gonna do that today but I wanted to show you this instead because there's quite a few people that are interested in isopods so I figured I'd give you another uh, look at the the uh, isopod bin and uh, let's let's plan on the phone book bin tomorrow of uh, making up a new one and taking out the worms and separating not separating them but put them in the other two new bins that I have so we'll do probably in a third a third and a third put a third in the phone book bin and a third in each of the other two bins so thanks for watching and if you're new please subscribe